Assalamu alaikum. Good morning. How are you today? Hi. Very good. Very good. All right. Today we're looking at the second type of sentence structure. Uh, remember last week we talked about uh, simple sentence structure. And uh, as you know, it's not only it's not good just to write simple sentences, but we have to use a variety of sentence structures. So today, maybe some a topic that is uh, may, maybe familiar to you, which is the compound. Uh, sentence so or compound sentences all right remember last times we talked about the simple structure as a sentence that has a subject and a verb relationship a subject and a verb pair uh, for example I live in Gaza city so at least every sentence must have a subject and a verb uh, combination and expresses a complete idea but as you know language is not only composed of simple sentences we use uh, different uh, structures so one second structure very common that we use uh, and is uh, the compound sentence what is a compound sentence it's basically two sentences. simple sentences that are joined together by a comma and, and a coordinating conjunction let's consider this example for instance she works in the city she lives uh, in the suburb. Notice that we join them by the um, connector or the coordinating conjunction. But, so she works in the city, but she lives in the suburb. So we have a simple sentence, another simple sentence that is also both are joined by the connector or by something we call coordinating conjunction. But, and notice the punctuation here, there is a comma before uh, the coordinator or the coordinating conjunction before but so this is what we call a compound sentence a combination of two simple sentences joined together by a linking word or a coordinator okay this is also another example we have a simple sentence here and also a simple sentence here and then we have a coordinating conjunction for instance he couldn't watch the show so he decided to tape, tape it. All right. Also, another example. He was poor, but he lived happily. Or he was, it was cold outside, so who that put on a heavy coat? Or you can attend a lesson. Or I will ask someone to attend on your behalf. So what we see here are examples of uh, compound sentences. Two simple sentences again joined by one of these linking words or what we call coordinating Conjunction. conjunctions. So what are these coordinating conjunctions? At least we have seven of them. All right? And we should learn them, we should know how to use them all all, all the time. For instance, uh, we have and which is indicating an addition relationship. Yeah. So the second sentence is an addition. To the first sentence. We have a contrast, as you say, to opposing ideas. For example, but and yet. Yet and but have the same meaning, except yet sometimes or comes as for something we call unexpected result. All right, unexpected uh, result. Uh, result. All right. We have a choice. For example, or or nor. We have cause. It's very much like because, but it is a kind of, sub of a coordinating conjunctions. And finally, we have so all of these seven connectors are combined in the word fanboys. Okay, so it is the abbreviation of the, these, uh, the initials of these uh, seven connectors. Is this clear? So, again, the idea is that. Uh, a compound sentence is basically a combination of two simple sentences joined by one of these uh, seven uh, coordinators or seven five uh, s uh, seven um, fanboys. Okay. All right. Remember. Uh, also, the punctuation is that uh, why not we not put this punctuation? Do not put the comma here. Yes. The necklace was beautiful but expensive. Why did we not put a comma here? Why there is no comma here? The necklace was a beautiful bike, but uh, expensive. Yes, please. It is not a compound. Very nice. It is not a compound sentence. It is a simple sentence. And but here is not joining two 
sentences. sentences. This is just two words or two phrases, but not two simple sentences, and therefore there is no need for a comma here. So it is not uh, that every time we see and or but we have to put comma. We have to look at the sentence structure. If it is a compound, then we put a comma, and if it's not, then there is no need for a comma. Is this clear? Yes. All right. Uh, let's just review very quickly. Uh, the simplest sentence structure. Just we, I'd like you to know the difference between, or to recognize the difference between a simple sentence and a compound sentence. Remember, we talked about simple sentences as uh, sometimes having a compound but subject or and compound. a compound verb. For example, Marian and Tom travel to Amsterdam and visit. Uh, is, is this a simple or a compound sentence? <laughs> simple. Yet we have a compound subject. Uh, a compound, uh, but still the structure is a simple sentence structure, not a compound one, because we only see one sentence, not two sentences. Okay? All right. Let's look at page uh, 54 in your textbook. Page 54 in your textbook. All right? And let's study these examples just to get you the idea in, into recognizing the differences between the two of them. Let's see at the table here. Just a sec, please. Just don't. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. All right. Um, so like I just said, sometimes I have a simple sentence with a compound verb or a compound subject, and sometimes I have a compound sentence. Let's see the examples here. Simple sentence with a compound verb. For example, my family goes on camping summer, every summer, and usually has uh, so it is a simple sentence with an SVV structure. Where's the second one? My family goes camping every summer. And we usually have fun. So it is a compound sentence with an SV and SV uh, structure. All right? The second one, simple sentence with a compound verb. Last year, we went camping out but had a terrible time. time. All right, so it's an SVV. Whereas the compound sentence last year, we went camping, but everyone. There is another sentence with another subject. But everyone had a terrible time. And a third example. Um, uh, next year, we will go to the beach or perhaps stay at home. This is still a simple sentence with an SVV structure, whereas the compound sentence would be something like, next year we will go to the beach or perhaps we will. And you will notice that every time we use a compound sentence before the connector, there is always a, a comma, all right, or but. Uh, uh, and and so and so on. So this is important to keep in mind. All right. Let's do the exercise on the same page and read the sentences. Exercise eight. Practice eight in your textbook. And I'd like you to read the sentences very quickly and decide: is it a simple sentence or a compound sentence structure? And uh, what is the formula? Is it an SV, SVV, and so on? Yes, please. Very quickly. We have two examples done for us. For example, the simple sentence is, the summers were hot and humid in my childhood. So this is a simple sentence structure with an SV, subject verb means. Whereas the second one, it's a compound sentence joined, sorry, two simple sentences joined by so. Every week it was subject verb. So my, so my sisters and I played subject, subject verb. All right, fair with you, please.
Let's see, number three. Who would like to do uh, exam number three? Yes, please. Yes, please. Our parents sat in chairs on the grass and watched us play our children's game. It's a simple sentence. Simple sentence? Is that right? Yes, it's a simple sentence. Okay. And what is the structure? What's the formula? It's an S. This parents sat and what? So it's an S V V. Very nice. Very nice. You see the set, the third, the fourth one. Yes, please. We played games such as hide and seek and tag, or we just sat on the grass and talked. Uh huh. Uh, it's a compound. It's a compound. Yes. Very nice. It's a compound sentence. S V. And it is an S V or or S V V. S V is that right? Yes. Yes. Okay. And notice the punctuation. Or. Yes. Or. Okay. Yes. yes, please. Over there. Please. Yes. At the end. Simple sentence. And the structure is? S. V. We could. We could fire flights. All right. Yes, please. Number six. We put the uh, fireflies into a glass jar and our father punched the mm -hmm. air holes in a little lid. He compound it. It's a compound, alright. And the structure is S, S, and S, V, and S, V. We put the and, and our father punched, uh, etc. Number seven. Number seven. Um, yes, please. My sister were afraid of most bugs, but they love fireflies. Compound sentence. Structure S V. My sister were. Mm -hmm. but they okay, so it's a compound. S V. But S V. But S V. All right. But they love. It's a subject verb. Um, yes, please. We usually went. Yes. Went to bed at at nine o'clock, but we. It's a compound S sentence structure. S V but S V. Very good. And uh, the second last. Yes, please. Over there. It's a simple sentence. Very nice. S -V. And it is an S, S V structure. S -V. S -V. S V or call mother and father S S V very nice. Uh, told us told is the verb and finally yes please. Come inside now, but leave the fireflies outside. Please, our mother always. Uh -huh. It's a compound. Is that correct? Yes. 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 With an order or imperative structure, so it's an compound. S V but. But uh, S V, okay? Because it's that, the, uh, as we said before, that subject is not uh, stated clearly. The subject is originally you uh, come inside now and you leave the fireflies, okay? All right. Now let's look at uh, exercise in the next page. On this paragraph, uh, on page 55, teenagers. What I'd like you to do is uh, to read the sentences in this paragraph and decide again what is the structure here. Is it a simple sentence or a compound sentence structure? And tell me what the formula is. Is it SV or SVV and so and so on? All right? Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Decipher quickly if the sentence is a simple or compound structure and decide what is the formula here. What is the formula we're talking about here? Sentence is it simple or compound? <laughs> it's a simple sentence, okay? It's a simple sentence so, with an SB slash teenagers. Fine, all right. The second one, the second one, um, yes, please. Purple or bold? It's a compound, very nice. It's a compound with an SB or SB structure. Very nice. Number three. Uh, they also uh, tattoo their skin and wear uh, rings in their uh, noses. noses. It's a simple sentence. It's a simple yes. sentence. Very nice. It's a simple sentence as structure. As they as uh, as tattoo as and wear SVV. Very nice. Number four. Yes, please. In addition, they spend hour at the shopping mall and on the phone. It's a simple sentence. Again, it's a simple with the sentence SV structure. Very nice. With an SV, they spend the subject verb. Yes, please. They have time to, uh, to watch TV, but they don't have time to read the uh, It's a compound. Very nice. So it's a compound. Very nice. It's a compound. But, and notice the comma here, but they, they don't have time subject that very good very good yes please also also they are always too busy to clean up their rooms but they are never too busy to clean out the uh -huh. thing mm -hmm. yes compound as it's as a compound as yes as mm -hmm. as it's as a compound uh, as but as very as nice. They are never too busy to clean and out the refrigerator, but yes. refrigerator by eating everything. Yes, please, ma'am. Uh, finally, they are old enough to drive, but too young to pay for gas. Simple, Simple sentence. sentence. Is that correct? Yes. 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 Why? Because but here. It is not a sentence or a simple sentence after but. It's not connecting two sentences. This is too young. It's, it's, uh, it's a phrase. It's a phrase. So it's still a simple sentence. Not two simple sentences joined together by but. Yes, very nice. Uh, they are usually broke, so they always return the family car with mm -hmm. an empty gas tank. A compound sentence. It's a compound sentence they joined. Very nice. Very nice. So, 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 
they always return. It's always it's a subject verb yes. uh, formula, so it's still a compound sentence. Yes. And finally, yes, please. It's hard to be a teenager, but the it's even harder. It's a compound sentence joined by but, but it is even harder. Very good. All right, so it's a compound sentence. So I want you to keep this understanding as you write your sentences. Not only write simple sentences, but try to join some of these sentences into compound ones. All right? Now, let's do some more practice on this and try to form compound sentences by joining each pair of simple sentences together uh, using any of these fanboys, any of these connectors that we talked about and uh, for and but nor yet or and uh, so okay all right very quickly <coughs> join each pair of sentences simple sentence to form a compound uh, way remember to put uh, the comma where necessary. Don't forget the punctuation for compound sentences. So it is the fanboy is uh, connected is preceded by a comma. because he obeyed me now. Actually, he or I will punish her. or. Is that right? Yes. yes, or I'll punish him. It makes sense now. Yes, please. Very nice. The nice connector would be something like and we have a holiday. It's more of an addition idea. Yes, please. He is clever and he is intelligent. And he, come on, and he is intelligent yes. too. Very yes. nice. Yes, please. He didn't pay the money, so he will go to prison. So he will go to Come prison. On. So he will go to prison. Very nice. Yes, please. Uh, she thinks beautifully. Uh, uh, Very nice. And she paints well. well. And she yes, paints she well. And number seven. Um, yes, please. He has done his best. Comma. And his uh, brother has. Done and his, his brother. Best. brother has done his best uh, to. All right, let's uh, just complete the, the uh, remaining sentences. The same idea, just to join the two sentences to form a compound, uh, a compound one.
Yes, see. Yes, please. Over there. Okay, you can say so he sleeps too much or and he sleeps. Both are correct, depending on what you what is what is your mean. And he also he sleeps yes. too uh, yes. much. Yes, please. The student worked hard, so she made some progress. Yes. So it's more of a result. So she made some progress. Yes, please. My father has not seen the film, but he has read. But he has read the book. But he yes. has read the book. Mm -hmm. She walked for a long time, but she couldn't find the road. But she couldn't find the book. Yeah. But she couldn't find the road. And okay. yes, please. Mm -hmm. She shouted for help, comma, but no one heard. But no one heard her. But no one heard her. And finally, yes, please. Mm -hmm. I was tired to think. So I decided to take a break. So I decided to take a break. Is this clear? Yes. All right. Now let's go back to our textbook on page fifty-seven. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. And uh, exercise or practice ten. All right. It's the same idea like here. We're going to do. We're going to do more practice, and this time joining each pair of sentences on page uh, fifty-eight. And 59, using any of these connectors, and for, but, so, yet, and so, and so on. All right? You see example number one at the bottom of the page. Kenya has two official languages. Everyone is printed in both English and French. Joining them together would be something like Canada has two official languages. So, everything is printed in both English and French. All right? Now, on page 58. Uh, just do some the same. All right, join two each two simple sentences into a compound one.
Is that correct? Yes, but but not all of them are or have written for. Yes, please. The second one. But English is spoken in more countries. But English is spoken in more countries. Number three, four. Very nice. And is more of an addition here. And uh, we can use but, but I'm thinking of it as more of an addition. The second yes, sentence yes. is an addition yes. to the first. Yes, please. There are about one million words in English, but most people only uh, use only about ten thousand of them. Very nice. But most people use only ten thousand of them. Number seven. Six. Six. Yes, please. Chinese has many different dialects. So dialects. Dialects. So Chinese people cannot always understand each other. So, so Chinese people cannot always. Uh, yes. It's so more of a result. Yes. So Chinese people cannot always yes. use them. Mm -hmm. Yes. Please. French used to be the language of international uh, diplomacy. diplomacy. Uh, but now it is English. But now and now, but it's very nice. But now. It is uh, yes. English. Yeah. Yes, please. International cameras are growing, so they will soon need more lingual articles. So they will soon, very good. So they will soon need more. And finally, yes, me. Young people should know a second language or they will be at disadvantages uh, in the international job market. So it's more of or. Yes, very good. Or they will be at a disadvantage in the international job market. Very nice. Okay. Now let's conclude with this uh, activity. What I'd like you to do is uh, to complete uh, the following compound uh, sentences. All right? Yes. So in some sentences you have to add the connector and complete a sentence or sometimes or not in the first two you just add the connector. It's very much like but, but it's sort of used as an expected thing, an ex uh, unexpected, all right?
Are we finished? Yes. There. There's it. All right. Let's see the first one. Yes. So I'm out today, so let's go to the. So let's go to the um to part to the part this afternoon. Is this the second? But or yet, perfectly. Yet or but. Doctors don't often recommend it. Number three. Number three. Um, yes, please. The waves were high and rough, yet I was able to swim. You s yet I was able to swim. Or, is that another answer? Yet I went swimming. Very nice. The waves were high and rough, yet I went uh, swimming. Yet I went uh, swimming. Okay. All right, number four. This is the last day of the semester, so I will, uh, we will uh, go to the... We will go on a... So we are if we we'll go to have fun in the city. So we will go out. Uh, we will go out. All right. Or we will have to the beach or something. Very nice. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy reading the novel and writing the story. All right, let's see number five. Uh, I really enjoyed reading the novel and writing the stories. Is it a simple or a compound? It's more of a simple sentence because we're talking about the same subject. I really enjoy and it's the same subject. I really enjoy. So subject verb. All right. But it has to be a compound here. It will be something like... I really... Uh, I enjoy reading the stories. And I enjoy reading, reading stories. Very nice. I really enjoyed reading the novel. And I enjoyed, for example, watching the film. Okay? Watching the film. I enjoyed watching the film. All right? Mm -hmm. Yes, please, over there. And she baked uh, a cake for everyone. All right. And she just don't forget yes. the set second sentence. And she baked uh, the cake or something yes. like. Yes. All right. So she invited. Yes. Uh, so she invited everyone. Yes. Is that right? Yes. yes. So don't forget that comma. So she invited uh, everyone. All right. So she invited everyone. And finally, second last, we fought, yes please. We fought a lot as children, but now we are really good friends. But now we are really good. Very nice sentence. But now we are good friends. Yes. We are good friends. We're good sisters. Okay. Okay. And finally, <coughs> excuse me, yes please. Uh, some people like watching TV, but the others like reading books. But others like prefer, very nice. Others like, what, what was your sentence? Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, some people like watching TV, but I prefer uh, to read books. But I prefer to read books. But uh, I prefer, or, but others uh, prefer or like um, reading. Reading. For example, books. Okay. So now what we did today is actually looking at the second type of sentence structure, which is the compound sentence structure. Remember this: a compound sentence is basically two simple sentences joined together to form a new one with a new structure. Usually, we use or we form or join these two sentences by using one of these. Fanboys, four and these seven connectors, uh, four and uh, uh, nor yet so or or um, yet. Okay. So from now to, from now on, whenever you write, try to use a mix of simple sentences and a compound sentence structure. All right. In next week, inshallah, we look at uh, the complex sentence, complex sentence structure, which is the third common type of sentence structure for now. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time, inshallah. Thank you.